Many Mr. Rafi, Media Villa from criticologos.com. Uh, Tom Clancy, thank you for taking your time to talk about this awesome crossover event, which I is crazy. I really love. And congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I, first question I wanted to be fun. I asked the, the other cast members, and I, I want to ask the same thing to do, you guys. If you personally could choose a scenario of the Twilight Zone to get stuck in, which one would it be and why? Clancy, you first. What you the Twilight Zone or the Title Zone? The, the Title Zone, sorry. The Title Zone. Uh, I, you know, I, I think we did get stuck in the in the robot episode. We all became part of part of uh, Sandy Zardoz head, which that was pretty cool. Yeah. And and nobody seemed to be too miserable to be up there, you know, except for Squidward. He's always miserable. But, you know, we <laughs> straighten him right out. You know. Well, I was saying, you know, the Twilight Zone, you know, the show, the Twilight Zone always had those moments where something was wrong. Like Twilight Zone was always about something's not right. Like, hello. Hello. Wait, wait. <laughs> What's that newspaper? What's the date today? This isn't right. Yeah, you know, you knock on the door of your old childhood home, and a different lady answers, "Mom, don't you know me?" You know, and uh, you know, when you're Patrick Starr, pretty much every day is like that. You know what I mean? Like, like, like so, so, so Patrick kind of lives in the title zone all the time. I think it was a pretty easy transition for him. But uh, yeah, it was it was really fun. This this is one of our crazier. Uh, uh, moments on this show. One of our crazier uh, uh, aspirations was to try and take all three of these uh, series that are all going at the same time and and somehow have the crews of of those shows uh, uh, each do a segment that makes sense as a whole. It was a lot of uh, you know nuts and bolts, and uh, they, they they did it beautifully. And it's fun. We just have to be us, you know. We just have to be Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob. They are always who they are, and what's happening around us can get as weird as the writers can make it. And uh, you know, Nickelodeon is is blessedly uh, very good at at just letting these guys uh, sh do you know get as crazy as they want without a whole lot of. Uh, But Without sometimes Karen has to be Patrick and Patrick has to be Karen. That's right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's right. Um, that was... uh, Clancy, this question is for you. Uh, Mr. Crab has a really fun episode when basically he, he, his mentality gets, gets switched around. So I wonder if, if you could ask, ask be on the other part making the request, which other request would you have made to Mr. Crab before, before ending the episode? Oh gosh, what, what what would I say to Mr. Krabs? I would say let your let your employees unionize. Let your employees unionize. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> I like it. If so I, I got, I'm running out of time. One more question. Um, I, I, this for the two of you also. About what characteristic of your specific character, of SpongeBob and Mr. Krabs, is this the 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 thing that? help them survive the title zone. Uh, Tom, you first. Well, I, I think just uh, hyperkinetic, hyperkineticism and just, uh, you know, just, just, just happiness, just ni naivety and <laughs> hyper, hyperactivity are, are, can get you pretty much through everything. And Fancy. Mr. Krabs, it's about focusing on the bottom line every time. You just focus on the bottom line. <laughs> if, if I have one more question, but this one is for Tom. And I, I know you directed old episodes. Um, yeah, you directed the actors. And I wonder, are you just, do you see yourself? 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 This is so, something so different from the, each episode, each series. What, what was the process of getting them into the mindset of the characters in each different episode, different scenario? Did it change from the series to, the, to, know, the, to this special? It didn't, because part of the fun of the world around them getting crazy is that people know these characters very well. They know who SpongeBob is. They know what he acts like. They Patrick, Squidward, Mr. Krabs. And so part of it is the fun for the audience uh, is seeing these characters that they know very well and then throwing those characters into even more craziness than usual and you you know kind of kind of uh, predicting how the characters are going to react because the characters are always who they are you know they're very much written in stone they're very <laughs> iconic and that doesn't change the the world around them. so you can put them anywhere so so our approach as actors was pretty much just the same and like Clancy said nobody uh, <laughs> nobody no none of these characters really seemed too freaked out by what was going on around them you know it, it's just kind of like a slightly weirder day than usual but not that much really <laughs> not that much <laughs> <laughs>
again, congratulations. And I gotta tell that I gotta tell you guys that the twenty, uh, the twenty, the twenty, twenty years built uh, 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 back from from my childhood wants to say thank you guys from being there for being there. Thank oh, you. Uh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're thank welcome. You. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Thank. thank th you. Thanks for uh, for letting us come along on the ride. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.